Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com at NAB 2019. I'm with Casey from Luxley. Now, this is a brand new 2x1. Now, what musical instrument is this one named after? This one is going to be our Taiko 2x1, which is a, uh, a large Japanese drum. Technically, Taiko is the general term from drum, and it's Odaiko that's going to be the bigger, the bigger, bigger drums, but Taiko fits better with 2x1. So. So this is based around the timpani? Yeah, it's the same system as the timpani. What we did was a couple of different things. Uh, we changed out the LEDs, so now they're actually a little bit more compact, especially with the type of white light that we're being used. Uh, it's going to be the same on our new version of the viola, the Viola Mark II, which is currently in stock. Um, but it's going to have the same features as a timpani, but it's going to have a lot more output. And um, it's going to be a little bit thicker on the body, uh, the interesting thing is that when it comes down to the actual footprint, it's basically the same thickness of a timpani when you include the battery plate. And so when you really look at it, it's only a couple of millimeters off at the end of the day, but it looks a little bit thicker. And there are a couple of reasons we did that. One of them is we were able to move the controller boards back a little bit, so we didn't have the lip on the bottom like we did on the timpani, so you have a full front on it. And also we gave a little bit more room on the diffuser, so it would help sort of knock out the individual LED shadows, which is another reason that we have a little bit of a heavier diffusion uh, than we did on the timpani just so it smooths out the light and gives a much wider beam angle at the end of the day. And just like the timpani this can still be run off camera batteries but I, I guess you probably need two for this light. Absolutely and uh, I'll swing this around so you guys can look at it. So it's going to have these dual battery mount. The wires are actually going to be internal going directly to the board so you don't have the XLR cables going off anymore. Uh, the interface screen is going to be the exact same as the timpani. So if you've ever used a timpani before or any of our lights, you're going to have the same menu system. There's no new learning curve to go over. It's going to be exactly what you're used to. It's going to have all of the same features. It's going to have DMX uh, five pin in and out for your 512. It's also going to have our new mode, which was released on the most recent firmware update for the timpani, which we call master apprentice mode, where one of these units is going to be able to control an entire universe down the line. And that will also include not only other uh, other versions of the 2x1, but also the timpani as well. So you'll be able to control everything, and it'll just mirror all the way down the line live via DMX cable. And it's still going to have Bluetooth installed, so you're going to be able to instantaneously use it with either of our apps. And what was the, what was the power draw of this? Right now, we're running about 250 watt power draw. This is one of two prototypes that exist. Here's one. The other one's over there. Um, so right now, yeah, we're looking at about 250 watts when, uh, when it's CCT mode and it's really peaked out. So. And when will this be available in any indication of pricing yet? Uh, we are looking for a we're looking for a release sometime late June, early July, similar to what the timpani was last year. And price point, we are expecting a price lower than $2,000 per unit. Thanks very much. Thank you.